So, hi everybody, Dom here from Essential RC. Uh, so part two of my little FPV project. Long term aim is to fly uh, big EDF jets, maybe even turbine jets in the future, but fly close formation. Um, so I wanted to start off cheap with this, well relatively cheap, it's not cheap at all, I'll be honest, um, with this um, kind of path with these small XFLY SU27 hand launchable jets. They don't come with retracts or flaps or anything like that. Right about the simplest type of EDF jet. Although this is twin 50 millimeter EDF, sounds quite good. So on the previous video, I put in the DJI FPV 03 air unit and found that it does not go to full power. Why is that? Because DJI, unlike Walt Snail, you need to have the 03 air unit attached through a flight controller for it to see an arming signal for it to go to full power. If you don't do that, it, the, the uh, O3 air unit does not run at full power, so you've got very limited range, which wouldn't be good on a jet, would it? So, I've <laughs> gone to the trouble of adding, adding in a Matek flight controller, which has made this project so much more complicated, believe me, because you Matex speed controllers, maybe I should have gone speedy B, but Matex speed controllers, you have to solder in all the pins. I hate soldering. I, I don't like soldering, but I'm beginning to love it in a hateful type of way. So you have to do that, plus then you have to load iNav onto it and then configure iNav. Now I have done quite a few flight controllers with iNav, over, so it wasn't too difficult. Um, and the benefits are that if you do use the flight controller, you get the telemetry in the on the OSD in the goggles, so your height, your altitude, your speed, um, your distance from home, your vector with an arrow back to home, all of those types of things. Plus, you get other things like um, the gyro stabilization um, and what else? Return to home if you wanted the flight controller to take control and bring it, steer it back to home, it can do that. It can do loiter, so do a circle. Um, at altitude it, it will do that so you get a lot of benefits from using a flight controller I would say but it's just um, it triples the complication the complexity of this type of project but that's what I've had to do so good for I think trying this uh, maiden flight and flying it FPV we've already done a flight line of sight so this should work I hope I'm um, balanced with the CG I've had to put a bit of lead on the back to get that CG which is important with the jet particularly if it's hand launching I would I'd be honest because otherwise it just might just go into the ground so let's try this and see what the FPV flight experience is with the FX fly SU27 so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna not launch with it held I'm gonna do it like that Field air, wind up. <laughs> no wind that's yeah. helpful isn't it which way do you want to go just straight out, I think. Put out that way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah good one, Dom. You put a bit of twist on that, Trev. Yeah, sorry. It's all right, no problem. got the goggles on. Okay, we've got you on camera. So 140 feet, 50 miles an hour, getting up and climbing a little bit more. I've got the voltage telemetry. I've got the number of satellites, I've got my signal strength, I've got my arrow telling me my direction back to home. But I am flying FPV.
That felt close to the ground. A couple of metres, I reckon. Well, it seemed closer when you're in the goggles. Uh. All right, so I'm going to keep this a short flight. I want to see what the battery status is because it's quite a small pack. So we're going to come in for a landing this time. I might actually do one more pass. Where's the wind, Trevor? Tell me the landing direction. Okay, you want to be landing from right to left. Nice one. Hey! <laughs> well done. It's, it's in one piece as well. FB V landing. Pretty close as well. Yeah. Fantastic. That did actually touch down right in line with you. It did? Yeah. Yeah, that's Brilliant, a good that's what I was aiming to do. Oh my. So that's that's successful. Next video would be to get the other one maidened and trimmed out for level flight. We'll do that with you, Trevor, so you're comfortable, get you flying around, and then, video after that, we will try and fly them together. Sounds so, good. So, slowly building the, uh, the complexity and, you know, what we're trying to do with each project, I think will be, be fun over the next few months. And I'm already thinking ahead for what the next model should be. Um, I'm thinking, because I am a, I'm just mad for the Eurofighter Typhoon. I would like to get a couple of the free-wing Eurofighter Typhoons. Uh, I've got a couple of um, the, the top-end Matek flight controllers that can support ATS um, and with a lot more inputs for servos and everything like that. So yeah, I, I think this could be, could be really successful and we're going to have a lot of fun doing this over the coming months. So thanks for watching Essential RC. As always, we have a lot of fun doing this. Please subscribe if you haven't done already. And if you do, click that bell icon for notifications of whenever notifications of when are we whenever we upload. Thanks for watching, thanks to Trev on camera, and we'll see you next time on Essential RC. Bye.